This is the eighth module of SQL Learning Series. In this module, we will discuss about the policy-based management. And we will learn about the policy-based management. We will know what is the purpose of a policy-based management. And we will also discuss about the fundamental components of a policy-based management. We will build our policies. We will, we will troubleshoot and monitor these policies and also we will try to import the built-in policies of Microsoft and along with we will try to export our user-defined policies. And we will also build a centralized management server. By using the centralized management server, we will evaluate the policies against the whole environments. How can we achieve all these steps? Let's move to the first video related to the policy based management this is the eighth module of sql learning series and in this module we will discuss about the policy based management policy based management introduced in sql server 2008 and it exists each and every edition of sql server even it exists in express edition with some limitations SQL Server agent does not exist in the express edition, so we cannot schedule our policies. Why we are using the policy based management? Because we want to control that SQL Server and its objects configurations. To achieve this goal, policy based management allows us to monitor best practices for the SQL Server database engines to control the configurations. So this is the built-in feature in Microsoft SQL Server and uh, this, uh, this, the functionality of the existing policy-based management system is customizable. We can extend the functionality according to our requirements. And the, when, when we will build a policy in a policy-based management, we can evaluate this policy against the whole environment of this SQL server. What are the fundamental components of a policy based management? There are four fundamental components, facet, condition, target, and evaluation mode. Let's con concentrate one by one on all these components. Facet is the component of policy based management. It is a SQL Server object with attribute. The facets are predefined by the Microsoft SQL Server and we cannot create our own facet. And this is the figure of the SQL Server Management Studio and here is the one facet uh, which name is database. And these are the properties or attributes of this database facets like name, nested triggers enabled, honor, page verify, these all are the attributes of a database facet. We can use these attributes to build our policies. And here is the list of facets which are defined by the Microsoft SQL Server. And these facets depends on the version of the SQL Server. Different version supports different number of facets. And for the facets, we can use only one facet per policy. We cannot use in one policy more than one facet. The next component of a policy based management is condition. Condition are the rules that need to enforce. Like this is a database facet and these are the uh, attributes of this database facet like we will use one uh, property auto close of, of the database to implement our condition we will check uh, that the auto close property of the database is on or off so we will implement this condition in a policy and this policy will evaluate against this uh, database facet to check the condition is true or false so the auto close property which we will use here like auto close is equal to here is our value true or false when this is the condition 
which will be evaluated by the policy based management system to check the this uh, database facet property auto close so one condition is allowed per policy but we can use more than one expression like this is the one expression auto close is equal to true this is one expression we can use more than one expression by using and or or operators to extend the functionality of the condition but one condition is allowed per policy the next component is target targets are the objects in each policy that need to evaluate like in uh, previously we implemented one condition auto close to check in the database facet this auto close property is on or off we implemented this condition previously now this condition we need to evaluate against some targets this condition these are the target this target can be a database can be a table depends on the this uh, pr property of the facets so this this auto close condition we need to evaluate against the target of the database we can use we can mention here in this target that this uh, need to evaluate against all the databases are only a some particular databases this uh, databases are some particular database we can uh, choose in our targets when we will specify the targets then this policy will evaluate against this target which we implemented here so targets can be a databases can be a table can be an index etc and the next component is evaluation mode each policy in policy based management system has evaluation mode this evaluation mode can be it uh, can change according to the facet some facet support some evaluation mode and some may not support that evaluation mode but there are four evaluation modes available in a sql server policy based management these are on demand on schedule on change log only on change prevent like previously we have implemented one condition and we defined the target and here are the evaluation mode after defining the target we have to select the evaluation mode that this targets which we have specified when will be evaluated this will be evaluated by the user or by the sql server agents or there is any other evaluation mode we have to specify here and now we will discuss one by one these evaluation mode on demand evaluation modes as its name specified that this evaluation modes depends on the user when our user need user can evaluate this evaluation mode and on schedule evaluation mode need sql server agent service sql server agents required to evaluate this mode and policies are scheduled in the sql server agent and then as per schedule agent will evaluate the third evaluation mode is the on change log only this evaluation mode run on backend and evaluated when the policy breaks and this mode allows the policy to break but whenever it's break immediately record the error in the sql server log file now this is the responsibility of a dba or related person to go and check the error log and take the action in this evaluation mode whenever the policy is breaks the sql server agent alert is created which can monitor that error message on alert by using this error number we can configure the emails to send automatically to the dba or related person to take the action accordingly the fourth evaluation mode is on change prevent this evaluation mode will not allow to break the 
rule so we no one can break the policy if this mode is used in that policy so all policies are not supporting this uh, mode only that facets which have all the properties that can fire ddl trigger can use this mode so for for the facet must have this ability to fire the ddl trigger then only on change prevent mode can be used for that facet and for this as uh, mode the sql server property allow triggers to fire other trigger should be on in this video we discussed about the policy based management and uh, we came to know about uh, the purpose of a policy based management and we discussed about the fundamental components of a policy based management and now in the next video we will show in a demo how to use these components to build our policy